how has a spate of oil price hikes affected the airline industry, Air Asia in particular? Well, um, first of all, um, uh, we are still in a pandemic and uh, we're one of the hardest hit industries. And uh, we're actually in the period of uh, recovery. We've actually been optimistic about the strong rebound. Now the destinations that we fly to have relaxed the restrictions and the uh, borders in the ASEAN are now reopening. But here comes another dilemma brought about by the ongoing fuel crisis as a result of the Ukraine-Russia conflict. And um, uh, this is definitely not a good news for all of us. Mm. Um, and uh, you know, in a short period of time, uh, we're, well, um, now that we are experiencing yet another um, crisis, um, there's another uh, um, thing that uh, the passengers would have to look into, and also for us in the airline industry. But for Air Asia, uh, Jester and Danny, we have uh, would like to uh, stress, no, that we have not imposed uh, fuel surcharges. Uh, I think um, since 2015, although we were allowed to. Uh, impose fuel surcharges uh, by uh, sometime 2018, but we haven't because you know Air Asia is known for for democratizing air travel. It's part of our DNA that you know everyone should fly. But now since it's it's a, another difficult situation that we're into, so we're looking at um, uh, imposing fuel surcharge. Um, but we're still monitoring the situation and make sure that um, everyone still gets to fly uh, with Air Asia. Okay, sir, realistically, uh, is there a certain level of uh, oil prices that you are looking at here uh, to say that, okay, now we really need to have mm -hmm. a fuel surcharge? Uh, well, the Civil Air Not Export or CAB actually allows airlines to impose fuel surcharges. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have an established matrix uh, which uh, is now currently at level 4 for the period of March 1 to April 31. Um, previously, during the previous months, January to February, it was only at, at alert level 3. Um, as mentioned to you, we have not imposed fuel surcharges uh, within the Air Asia Group. It was actually abolished in 2015. Um, and uh, now that the that the level is uh, as as uh, uh, per the guidelines of the Civil Air Not Export, um, uh, it's it's now at level four. And at present, we're looking at 141.70 US dollars per barrel. Uh, okay. This is way higher than the IATA projected uh, 2022 average fuel price at 100 around 110 uh, US dollars per barrel. Mm -hmm. Uh, but under alert level four, we are actually allowed, uh, the airlines are actually allowed to collect around 108 to 411 pesos per passenger. Uh, this is for domestic flights and uh, around 543 to um, 5,000 pesos for international flights. So this varies per kilometer, uh, meaning if you fly further, uh, you would actually or you would expect a higher fuel surcharge re reflected in your ticket price. But again, um, this will be under the discretion of the airline company. Uh, similar to other uh, Philippine uh, air carriers, Air Asia is allowed to impose this. Uh, but uh, we maintain that uh, we will only implement this. Uh, make sure that uh, this is very reasonable also to our guests. Uh, you have to remember that uh, uh, summer demand is, is already here. And uh, we're expecting uh, more passengers traveling since uh, we are now alert level one. And most of the destinations that we fly to are under alert level one. And um, one way to trigger the demand is, of course, by offering affordable airfares. So we do not intend to discourage people from traveling. That's one. Uh, as mentioned to you earlier, it's not in our DNA. So we'll carefully look at the imposition of such. Okay. So, But still, there's that option to at least impose fuel surcharges. Mm -hmm. But again, like what you mentioned, it's going to be a calibrated response here for Air Asia. But at the same time, a number of airlines already seeking government aid here, at least the association. They're saying uh, they're looking at the possibility of asking government um, to reduce or if not uh, have a non-increase of government fees here. What in particular is Air Asia looking at here as a possible aid from government? Uh, first of all, any form of assistance or subsidy will definitely help us in the airline industry. Um, we're still in the pandemic and um, uh, we really want to make a strong rebound uh, now that, that most destinations are, are, have relaxed their restrictions. Um, as a member of the Airline Carriers Association of the Philippines, or ACAP, uh, we subscribe to the previous statement of our chairman, Bonnie Sam. Uh, during the House Transportation Committee, uh, he mentioned that, um, of course, um, our appeal is to uh, reduce or not increase any government-imposed fees and charges, um, and we will continue to monitor the situation. Actually, it now depends on the airline as to whether uh, they will impose or we will impose uh, fuel surcharges. 
but any form of, of help from the government by way of subsidy or whatever, it, it is very much welcome for us in the airline industry.